this weekend looking for high and drunk drivers. News 5's Caroline Peters spoke with them about why they chose this weekend for the crackdown. August is the month where El Paso County has seen the highest number of fatal crashes, and that's not the only thing police tell me they're seeing. They say they're seeing impaired drivers driving on the wrong side of the road. In fact, a few months ago in March, that happened right here on Austin Bluffs and Academy. An impaired driver was arrested for doing just that. Now, according to CDOT, one in three traffic deaths involve an impaired driver. Law enforcement, they're sending a strong message that this can be avoided. To enforce this, the Colorado State Patrol, Springs Police, and the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. They've teamed up to monitor I-25 through El Paso County. That starts this evening and runs through Saturday. Police will be patrolling main roads throughout the city as well. This means a bigger police presence than usual. They say this is needed to crack down on impaired driving so they can avoid incidents where people get into accidents hurting others. Some of the uh, most horrific accidents that I've experienced have been one way or wrong way driving, whether it's on the interstate or downtown, because there's no control for that vehicle that's going the wrong way, and there's no time to react to that vehicle coming at you. I'm told the officers aren't just looking for drunk drivers. They want to catch any driver under the influence of any substance. That includes marijuana. So if you see a suspected impaired driver, avoid the driver, get out of the way. You can also contact Colorado State Patrol by calling CSP. That's 277. Make sure to get the vehicle description, the license plate number, the time, and the direction of travel. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Caroline Peters, News 5.